Good afternoon. I'm Steve King with 3M Communication Markets Division. I'm going to talk to you today about our 3M Tower Dome products. Now, in the evolving architectures designed to support high data rate, high data capacity like LTE services, we see more and more distributed radio systems which have fiber and power going to remote radio units which are very close to the antennas at the top of the tower. This sort of architecture naturally lends itself to having terminals with short jumpers from the terminal location over to the remote radio unit. I'm holding one such terminal in my hands. This would be for a single remote radio unit. You can see as it's configured, it has the fiber management with the inline L duplex LC connectors to avoid macro bending, along with built-in surge protection. So this can protect a single remote radio unit. It supports entry and exit via our patented ECAM or external cable assembly modules. These protect the cables and actually have up to 70 pounds of pull strength. This allows us to have this minute minimum footprint base. This base would normally uh, attach directly to Unistrut or to a tower mounted uh, rack assembly. So what we have here is a number of different configurations that we are showing at the CTIA show for the very first time. We have all different permutations including uh, fiber and power gauge change only, three remote radio unit supports with provisions for 24 uh, fibers and provisions for three two-pole surge protection devices. We have the single RRU version just described and we have two versions that support uh, up to six remote radio units. And you can see that the minimum footprint and the very elegant styling of the slack storage here allows us to keep everything in line with our slack storage. This avoids the dangers of, of macro bending of the fibers. Say we had this in a different position. So basically what happens is the entry port fiber and power cables come to the surge protectors in line. They also come to the fiber connectors and they await there for the jumpers to be input via our ECAM type cable assembly holder. So the cables come through here, they're protected by a grommet, they slide through in the base, you make your connections, you snap the retaining ring into place, and then you have a completed connection ready for your remote radio unit.